Hello guys! We are here at Camp Margaritaville in Auburndale, Florida. We have this amazing cabana cabin and I'm going to show you around it, so let's go. So now that I gave you guys the quick room tour, let's talk about what yeah. this cabin has. So it is called a cabana cabin. So they do have some yeah. that are pet friendly and this one is not one for pets, but it comes with a full size kitchen, a sofa that pulls out into a queen bed. You have bunk beds for kids, so two kids and two people can sleep in the king bed that's in the bedroom back here. Now, hi. So what's nice, if you're traveling in a group, about six people can fit in one of these. You have your Keurig, um, you have your refrigerator. You have everything you basically need in order to have a relaxing stay. Now, this resort does have some amazing amenities, which we'll be checking out over the next few days as well. But look, they left us some waters and a nice card and bag. Um, you get a nice map that tells you exactly where you are and like passwords and stuff like that. Um, and you have a map of the actual resort. So check-in time is at three. Um, they do also have RV sites. And then this is just a map of the entire place. So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous property. We're so excited to check it out. It is really hot outside. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Hang on. So there's two doors. You have the door over there, which is like your main door. You can sit out on the front. But you also have this fun side patio door that you can kind of leave open. The other one you can't leave open, but this one is nice to leave open if you wanted to get like some sunlight in here. And there is a patio area and a grill. So if you wanted to grill, um, there's a grill over there and then as well as a little picnic table. So, so much to do, so much to see. Excited to show you guys the next few days of fun. Okay, so here's a glimpse of the outside. So we our cabana is here and we're actually gonna go over this way they have this cool water tower it's actually on their map when you're trying to get around and it says like little fun things from margarita like it's five o'clock somewhere that's super cute and then over here is all the amenities and stuff so this is the way we're actually gonna go gonna go check. all right guys so this is some of the what we've been doing so we just picked up our clubs we're gonna go mini golfing, but this is like a good spot for you to see like exactly what all is here. So over there is the green. That's where they have a lot of the kids' games and stuff. I know that they mentioned that. And they give you a guide that you can pick up here at the store. So there's that, there's the retreat, there's the pool. Then we're actually going over to mini golf. There's a tiki bar, there's music. Like there is practically every darn thing here. So is legit glamping at its finest there's the retreat which it said you needed reservations in the pool seems pretty cool with people it's a hot day anyway all right so we're playing some mini golf So it's just this typical mini golf. There's little nods to the resort um, and what the yeah. resort is. It's super cute. Somebody got her ball in, so she's super excited. Mia's just chilling her stroller because she does not need to play mini golf. This is super fun. It's included with your stay, so it's no additional fees. 
it's a nice little hangout spot. This is the main clubhouse where you check in, um, you can buy everything, camp store, and then right next to it, we're over here hanging out at Parakeet Kids Park. This is actually the playground. So it is a pet friendly resort. However, it's gated, so I'm gonna close it. This is a little sand pit. And there's normally chairs over there, but I think all the kids like put them in that thing. And then there's like a seating area over here and I have the stroller sitting there. And then Mia's gone. But you can climb this thing, which is cool. Then you have little smaller tykes area. So it has like smaller size. So this is mean for like more like your toddlers, maybe up to four. And then you have your bigger side, which has the bigger slides, tunnels, climbing. And then Mia is actually really obsessed with the spinnies. And Ari was over here on the spinnies too, but you wanna spin? Hold on, hold on. Woo! So we decided to keep it light today. We just went to mini golf, explored a little bit, hung out at the playground. We're gonna go pick up our golf cart in a little bit and then we are gonna go back to the cabin, bathe, relax, get some rest because tomorrow we're gonna have a full day of fun. Check out the pools, um, do some of the fun kids activities, eat some of the food. It's gonna be so fun. Good morning, peeps. We are up bright and early and dressed Yay! It looks kind of crazy in here because we just made a world storm, but it is super early. We wanted to get over to the pool before it got crowded. It's going to be a hot one today, so we're going to go to the pool. We're going to relax, check it out, show you guys what they have. There's a splash pad and a pool. And then we are probably going to come back, take a midday break, and then go back a little later. We hope to try some of the food that they have around property today. Um, and we're going to take you guys on a little trip in our golf cart around the um resort so let's go all right so this is the splash pad so it's super cute and perfect for little kids they have some buckets little ride on sharkies oh, this water is cold. <laughs> Ari says the water is cold it's super cute it's called the jolly mon kids pool so this is what they call their kids pool area and then if you press this I don't know what happened when I pressed it, but something happened. Plenty of places for people to sit. I got a nice spot over here in the shade. I'm gonna let the girls play in this for a little bit. And then on the other side, you can kind of see they have their water slide and then the pool.
All right, we got some food. What you got, Ari? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Then Mia has chicken fingers. Which is hot, but she's a savage. Savage. Is it good, Mimi? Is it good? No? Yes, it is. You said no to everything. On a burger? This is from the Freedom Frenzy. It's right over there. We're actually sitting up here by the Tiki Bar. I got a five o'clock somewhere right here because it is five o'clock somewhere. However, it is just not right now. And then I got fish tacos. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. Amazing. Of course, this one got. When you want to be healthy, you get a salad. And. When you don't want to be healthy, you get chicken tacos. Of course. It's pretty empty, so this area is sitting up by the Tiki Bar. That's where music normally is. I think today's gonna be light because there is a hurricane kind of rolling in. Um, so they're trying to make decisions about evacuations is what was told to me. So we decided to come and eat. It is actually our last day here. How's your burger? Good. Good? Really good, Daddy. Me and Sarah is good. Let's eat this food and then we'll go explore some more. I think we're gonna hit the pool or something for a little bit. Who's gonna lift the boat? They don't know me, son. They be gone. So this resort is pet friendly, so they do have a small dark park. It's called Barkeritaville. So they have a couple of these spread out, but this is the one closest to the front. So your dogs can come and play. And they even have this fun like dog washing station. So you can come and you know give your dogs like the spa treatment, wash them, trim them. They have shampoo and everything, which is super cool. So this is right on the side of the um, pool here but there's also another dog park like right back here that has some place where they can run and play so it has it all which is nice because a lot of folks do want to travel with their pets and sometimes they feel like they aren't able to but you can here laundry if you need to come and do laundry nice laundry room Ooh, it's nice in here. so this is one as closest to the front but there is also one over where the RVs are. Then they have the rally room, which you can rent out, I believe, for things. So that's nice. And then they have the fitness center and I would take you guys in, but I forgot the code. And my folder is back at the room, but they do have that. And then this talks about just some of the stuff that they have going on. So you can join them on social media, but they also offer yoga on Saturday morning bathroom and then this is that pool again and then over here is that splash kids pool area Oop, almost fell y'all <laughs> what they like to call it so super cute super fun ah, the jolly mon this is our last time at the pool so gonna miss this oh we get express pickup <laughs> all right hop in all right, so another tucked away area is the License to Chill Bar. And it's really cute because you can actually come inside. So normally this is open. This is also where there's a barbecue spot, but it's only open on 
Fridays and Saturdays for now. But there's another pool, so this is that second pool it's talking about. Looks like a bit more chill and tame. There's not a lot of people over here. Still another zero entry, so that's nice. But then you head over here and you actually can sit down by the lake. So this is the water sports park. So typically there's shows and stuff going on down here. So it's basically kind of free to just relax or come down here and see it up close and personal. So I wanted to give you guys that quick tour. But when there are shows, they'll let you know. Um, they send out a daily briefing. But look how beautiful this is. It's literally right on the lake. Beautiful birds, everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. And I love that you can kind of just sit out here if you want. So plenty of space for everybody. And again, a gorgeous view of Lake. This is Lake Myrtle. Sorry guys, Lake Myrtle. This place literally has so much. I can't believe how much there actually is here. But again, this bar is normally open. Friday, Saturdays, um, yeah, beautiful spot to relax. All right, guys, that concludes our time here at Camp Margaritaville here in Auburndale, Florida. Remember, it's not super far from Orlando, but if you're looking for a good retreat getaway, this is the perfect spot. You can stay in a cabin, you can bring your RV, you can bring your pets. There's just so much to do and see here at Camp Margaritaville. We've had an amazing time. I'm so thankful for them having us and showing us all that their beautiful resort has to offer, but sadly, we have to leave. So, you know what that means? We'll catch you guys on our next expedition. Uh -huh.